So we give thanks to the earth, our mother, and we give strength and love. We send love and strength to the earth, through our feet, through our breath, through our hands, through our connection with each other. One earth, one ground, holy ground. This is a chant from the Mapuche of Chile. Lovers of the earth. Ayun mapu ni we mapu 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 Ayun mapu ni mapu Ayun mapu ni mapu Ayun mapu ni we 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 Ayun mapu ni we mapu 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 Ayun mapu Ayun mapu ni we 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 mapu Giving thanks to the Mother Earth. Giving Send, love to the Mother Earth. Sending love. Ayun mapu. Sending strength. No way. Mapu. To our mother interconnecting us all through earth and breath and heart so feeling our feet or ourselves connected to earth feeling our bodies present Finding your seat, your place, arriving to this moment, always arriving. So feeling our feet or ourselves connected to earth, feeling our bodies present. Finding your seat, your place, arriving to this moment, always arriving, opening up, feeling the rhythm of your breath flowing in and out. Precious breath. Open.
opening heart. You can feel the pulse of your blood moving through your body, the beating of your heart. And let's uh, join uh, hands with each other <laughs> through space and time. We'll say the invocation together. Toward, Toward the, the one, one, the perfection of love, harmony, and beauty, the only being united with all the illuminated souls who form the embodiment of the matter, the spirit of guidance. Let's go to our friend Asaf, uh, if you would be willing to unmute and share in Italian. Verso l'uno, la perfezione di amore, armonia e bellezza. L'essere unico, uniti a tutte le anime illuminate che formano l'incarnazione del Maestro, lo Spirito della Guida. Grazie. Thank you. Uh, let's go to Russia, and um, I wonder, Munira, if you would share in Russian. Ruski, пожалуйста. <coughs> Единым, совершенству любви, гармонии и красоты, к единственно сущему, объединяясь со всеми просветленными душами, которые образуют воплощение мастера, путеводный дух. Спасибо. Thank you. And uh, let's continue. Let's go to Aliella, also in Russia, but who has uh, spent a lot of time in Israel, if you could share in Hebrew. Lehat hashlimut shalavati ferret vyosi. Yahit, a mehet betoho et kol and ishamot and our road. A mehat's road at the Galmut, our man, a ruach, a kodesh. Thank you. Uh, how about Noshin? I see you're on. Farsi. If you if you could unmute and share in Farsi, that would be great. Oh, I see you're maybe you're not a hundred percent here yet. Uh, let's go on to how about Shafia? Slovak. <laughs> Perfectnost lásky, harmonie a krásy. Jediná bytosť spojená so všetkými osvietenými dušami, ktoré tvoria stelesnenie pána, ducha vedenia. Thank you. And um, Vero, would you, be would you be willing to do it in Spanish? Hacia el uno, la perfección del amor, la armonía y la belleza. El ser único, unido a todas las almas iluminadas que forman el cuerpo del maestro, el espíritu guía. Gracias. Bismillah, Errachman, Errahim. Well, I think, friends, it's fair to say that the more challenging the conditions of the world are, the more focus and intention we need to put into our own breath and what we are contributing to the world atmosphere through our own intention and our energy, the energy that comes through us. So these are very challenging and difficult times in so many, many ways right now. Uh, so the, the importance of our, at least making our contribution through conscious intention, tuning ourselves 
to the earth, to life, to care, to love. And putting this love into each of the elements. So we tune to the earth element, breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the nose, invoking healing, Ya Shafi, the healer, Ya Kafi on the out breath, the remedy. Healing for our bones and our bodies and the structure and the earth itself and the ground and the soil and the rocks and our own stability, our own grounded nature. In through the nose, out through the nose. And tuning to the water element, we breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let our breath be fluid and flowing. Let us be fluid as we flow with whatever comes. Invoking healing for the waters of the planet, the rivers, the ocean, the rain, tears, sweat all the fluids. Tuning to the fire element, breathing in. Let our fire be one of love. Love so strong that it helps us master our own violence, our own anger. Tuning to the air element, breathing in through the mouth, out through the mouth, refined breath, lightness of being, feeling ourselves uplifted through our ideals, the harmony, the beauty, the love that lifts us, surrendering to being raised up spiritually.
and tuning to the ether element, tuning inwardly, pushing the, the nose and the mouth and the whole body without any movement, invoking healing for the subtle planes, our latifs, our atmosphere. can seal our practice with the prayer. Nayaz, let's start in Russia. Aliela, can you share in, in uh, Russian, please? Возлюбленный Господь, всемогущий Бог, лучами солнца, волнами воздуха, все проникающие в пространстве жизнью, очисти и оживи нас, и мы молим, исцели наши тела, сердца и души. Uh, Asaf, can you share uh, Nayas in Italian? Amato Signore, Dio Onnipotente, attraverso i raggi del sole, attraverso l'onde dell'aria, attraverso la vita onnipervadente nello spazio, purificaci e ravivaci e preghiamo, guarisci i nostri corpi, cuori ed anime. In Espanol, Vera, por favor. Amado Dios Todopoderoso, a través de los rayos del sol, a través de las ondas del aire, a través de la vida que todo lo impregna en el espacio, purifícanos, revivifícanos y te pedimos sanar nuestros cuerpos, corazones y almas. in English. Beloved Lord, almighty God, through the rays of the sun, through the waves of the air, through the all-pervading life in space, purify and revivify us, and we pray, heal our body, heart, and soul. So I, I am getting a message from um, Shakti that her sound is kind of wonky. I'm sorry. <laughs> Could you, uh, dear ones, can you yeah. turn off original sound when we're just talking? I, I, I had turned it off. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. It might just be the Wi-Fi is a little spotty today. Okay, so sorry, friends. Our hearts are steady. Our internet might be wonky. <laughs> I'm sorry. We do the best we can. You know, this is the way we get to reach each other across great distance and, um, you know, send our, our heart beams strong and steady to each other. Uh, so I, I thought it would be uh, appropriate to revisit the two Wazifas that we worked with last week, Yagafar and Yagafur. Um, you know, our, our uh, Pema Chodron, beautiful Buddhist uh, teacher uh, from the States, uh, it says uh, that war begins when we harden our hearts. It's as simple as that. Of course, at the time it happens, it's really complicated. But this is where peace begins with us. You know, we can do something 
ourselves about cultivating a peaceful atmosphere and reconciling, starting with ourselves to reconcile the conflicts that are within ourselves so that we can uh, strong and active in the world. Uh, active rather than reactive to re be able to respond. So yaga far, yaga for these two beautiful desert words um, that have to do with um, they come they they draw their their one of their roots for the words has to do with the bag that you carry water in the skin that you carry water in and uh, to make the the leather the skin hold water you rub or they would rub the um, honey and the propolis that the bees make into the skin to make it soft. And so these wazifas have that root of rubbing the salve of love into our own hearts to soften ourselves so that we hold the water of life. And that that that, that is the core uh, action of forgiveness. We, we need a supple heart to be able to forgive. So yaga far is the kind of forgiveness that um, repeats. That's like no matter how many times we make the same mistake or you know the same pattern, uh, there's always forgiveness. Forgiveness is unending and ever flowing. Um, Yaga far. And yaga four is um, the kind of love that penetrates deeply into the heart. And um, it, has, it has a root that is also connected to light, the way light can penetrate things. So, <clears throat> you know, imagine your own heart when we say yaga far, the kind of forgiveness that is like always present, no matter how many times we screw up. No matter how many times we fall down, there's always the capacity to get up again. And then, you know, hopefully we, we don't make the same mistake forever. You know, we start to learn from our own mistakes. Yeah. You know, when we, <clears throat> we say, these wazifas out loud. <clears throat> the, the sound itself has power, but even greater power is our own intention, is our own emptiness, our own surrender, our own uh, yearning from within to receive the blessing of the phrase itself. So that it's a Yeah. So the, the second wazifa yaga four again brings in that light. And so we couple them together. Um, yaga far, yaga four. Yaga far, yaga four. Yaga far, yaga four. Yaga far, yaga four. Yaga far, yaga for. 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 Yaga far. Yaga for Yaga far 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 Yaga for Yaga far, yaga for, yaga 
far, yaga for, yaga far, yaga for, yaga far, yaga for, yaga far, yaga for, yaga far, yaga for, yaga far, yaga for, yaga far. Yaga for, yaga far, 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 yaga for. Yaga fa, yaga fu, yaga fa, yaga fu, yaga fa, yaga fu. I'm putting these beautiful names on the breath. Breathing out, yaga far. Breathing in, yaga for. Yaga far, yaga for. Well, let's let's um, do one more wazifa, and we'll uh, do the ya salam peace, bringing peace, peace into our hearts, peace in, peace out, breathing in peace to any place in our own body that uh, we register as calling for soothing any place in our circles, in our community, in our home, in our country, in our 
planet. So breathing in peace, breathing out peace. Start with yourself and then you can expand it as you feel. So we'll say it a few times out loud and then we'll put it on the breath as a practice. Yeah, salam. 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 So 
Assalamu alaikum. Let's um, go in gallery view. And let's, uh, let's do the Assalamu alaikum to each other, wishing each other peace. You can say it in whatever language, uh, your language. Or you could say Assalamu alaikum, which is not exactly my language, but it's pretty close. <laughs> means peace be with you in Arabic. I would just greet Salam Aleikum. 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 Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Simplify it to just salam. 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 Salam, 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 Salam. Salam, 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 Salam. Salam, 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 and three more. Salam, Salam, Salam. There we go. Peace in your heart, peace in your home. Peace in your home. Yeah. Let's um, sing some zikr. Uh, original sound? Original sound is now on. Good. Okay. <laughs> We're trying <coughs> to make our sound better. It's okay. All right. The zikr phrase is a reminder to empty ourselves of ourselves and open ourselves to the uh, to the whole, to the divine, to the uh, interconnected nature. We call it whatever we call it: Allah, God, life, unity. Uh, what we call it doesn't matter. It's the emptying of ourselves that is the uh, act that may have some benefit. La ilaha
La ilaha illallah
Haiku, poetry, or a brief personal sharing would also be okay. This is a time to hear from each other. If you would like to say something or share something, uh, haiku is always, of course, welcome. Good morning, everyone. Suriname from West Palm Beach, Florida. I have a haiku to share. When we come from love, duality dissipates for a split second. Uh, one more time, if you don't mind. When we come from love, duality dissipates for a split second. Just enough to let us know it's possible. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. I have one. It's Tarana from North Carolina. It's from uh, John O'Donohue. Okay. A, a poet and philosopher. In the light and reverence of blessing, a person or situation becomes illuminated in a completely new way. In a wall, a new window opens. In dense darkness, a path starts to sh glimmer. And into a broken heart, healing falls like morning dew. Hmm. Thank you, Tarana. I have one. Uh, this is Suzanne from Connecticut. I am disabled due to a brain aneurysm, so I'm wheelchair bound. So this is uh, what I always say to myself. My body might be destroyed. My spirit is not defeated. My dignity is boundless. My soul is untethered. Thank you. Mm, thank you thank so you. much, Suzanne. Mm. Mm. Maybe if you wouldn't mind, could you read that one more time or share it one more time so we really catch it? Sure. Thank you. My body might be destroyed. My spirit is not defeated. My dignity is boundless. My soul is untethered. Thank you. on the breath at the moment, but you're welcome to unmute if you'd like to share something. This is Dahlia. I would like to read something from the Upanishads, which has been um, very present for me for many years and especially in the last couple days. So I'd like to read this short passage. In the center of the castle of Brahman, our own body, there is a small shrine in the form of a lotus flower, and within can be found a small space. We should find what dwells there, and we should want to know it. This little space within the heart is as vast as this great universe 
The heavens and the earth are there, and the sun and the moon and the stars. Fire and lightning are there, and winds are there. In all that now is, and all that is not, for the whole universe is in this, and this dwells within our heart. Mm. Thank you, Dalia Sarah. Om, Om Shanti Shanti. I have um, something to share too, which is so. Uh, I'm one of the listservs that I'm part of. Um, this this uh, a letter was posted, and it's written uh, by a woman named Alla Gutnikova from Russia, and she's one of the editors of a Moscow student journal, and she happens to be um, in jail at the moment, serving a two-year sentence. Um, for inciting minors to take part in illegal opposition protests. And so she wrote this letter that um, is a beautiful letter, but it ha and it has um, this poem in it. And the, the poem is, I think, a, I don't think it's the whole poem, but I'm not sure. And it's... Um, by someone named Bulat Shalvovich. Okudjava. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Aliella. Uh, can you say the, his name or her name? Well, anyway. Her name? Yeah. Alla Butnikova. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so maybe she originally wrote it in um, English, in Russian, perhaps she wrote it in this letter in English. Conscience, honor, and dignity. There is our spiritual family. Hold out your palm to it. For this, no one fears, one fears no fire. Its face is lofty and wonderful. Dedicate to it your short century. Maybe you will never be victorious, but you will die as a human being. Conscience, honor, and dignity. There is our spiritual family. Hold out your palm to it. For this one fears no fire. Its face is lofty and wonderful. Dedicate to it your short century. Maybe you will never be victorious, but you will die as a human being. <laughs> yeah. Mm. May we be human, you know, cultivate our humanity. Mm. And, uh, okay. let's dedicate. I want to thank everybody for joining us this morning. Mm -hmm. And this evening, wherever you are, um, uh, may I share something visual? Where are you? I don't have any words, but I have a visual. I'm in Ithaca, New York, and this is outside my window. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the blessing of snow. <laughs> <laughs> we got the snow covered all of our daffodils last night. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, wow. You're a little north of me. <laughs> what a planet we have. It's a, it's a spring snow. It, yeah, I'm just, I'm also just seeing from Amina. I think it's from Amina. Amina, do you want to unmute and just say it yourself? And out, you know, maybe we'll say a prayer together. Go ahead, I can't. Oh, okay, I'm so sorry. All right, 
Mm-hmm. So let's uh, she what um, prayers for Amina's mother who had a um, massive stroke and it's a difficult time. So let's put uh, Amina's mom on Yashafi Yakafi. Mm-hmm. And let's put our hands right out and, um, you know, it's empty ourselves of ourselves and hold her in the highest possible light, pure light of her radiant being, the light of her soul. And we send Yashafi, Yakafi to Abina's mom. Yashafi. Ya kafi, ya shafi, ya kafi, ya shafi, ya kafi. And, and to Amina and her, your whole family, Amina, we send our love and blessings and healing light to you and Yashafi, Yakafi, all blessings to you and your family in this time. Yeah. On the breath, sending love. Okay, let's dedicate our practice together. And um, yeah, um, Munira, are you here in Russia? <laughs> are you still here? Да будут счастливы все. Да будут все блаженны. Мир, мир, мир. Thank you. Uh, Vero? Que todos los seres estén bien, que todos sean felices, paz, paz, paz. We'll do it in English together. May all beings be well. May all beings be happy. of all challenges may we be steady in our light and our compassion and our care for each other. Amen, amen, amen. Mm-hmm.